Hello everyone, just got back home from my first day at the Los Angeles Film Festival 2015 and I have one more movie to talk about. It's a documentary called Can You Dig This? Now this film examines the lives of many men, women, and children living in not the safest part of Los Angeles but really trying to make a difference through gardening and planting. Very interesting idea, had no idea what this was going to be about, had no idea this was actually going on in this community, but it all started with a man named Ron Finley who was tired of his community just really going down the tubes. He was tired of walking around and finding that there was no health foods around. He would see liquor stores and other kinds of fast food markets, but he would never see anything that was offering really good tasting food that was good for you. So he decided to plant a garden, plant plants all over and inside, around, and outside his home. And we actually get to meet him and what inspired him. And then we also get to meet a series of other individuals who were maybe once known as gang members or prisoners. We also get to meet a, a young little girl and her family and how she's inspired to eat better and help her father who's suffering from a heart attack to eat better. So this film encapsulates many different lives uh, that you would not s suspect or maybe you, know, you might question just a little bit of what really is going on. And it's very interesting because uh, we get to really delve into these people's lives and find out who they are on a human level and why, uh, what the changes that are happening in their lives as they are, you know, um, making all of uh, this wonderful food, this healthy fruit, food, fruits and vegetables. And, you know, you wouldn't, you just, you, you think of this community, you just think like something, you know, like this probably uh, would never happen. It would never happen in a community like this, but it's such a, an amazing miracle that they're trying to make their situation uh, and their community uh, and put more positivity in it when it comes to all the negative stuff that's going on with crime and violence and killings and all that stuff that usually happens in that area. So that's what you would normally see from a documentary like this, but this movie focuses on the men and women and children who are trying to bring just a positive uh, outlook on their lives and on their community. And that was, was so uh, really nice about this movie. Now it's handled uh, by a first time documentarian, though she has made films, I believe in the past, but it's the first time making the film. And I had the opportunity to see the Q and A afterwards where Ron Finley was there, the director, her name is Delilah Vallant. And we got to hear uh, some of the behind the scenes of what happened and what's happening afterwards for the people that are the subject of this movie. You can check out that uh, Q&A on We Live Film hopefully in the next couple days or so. Uh, but just you know, a nice moving film uh, that I think will inspire you to grow something. Whatever in your garden. Grow flowers, vegetables, fruits and stuff. It's a film that does inspire me, but also inspires me to bring more uh, positive vibes to my own community in some way. And that's what I got from this film, that, you know, it's kind of nice. Uh, usually when we see something that is focused on South Central Los Angeles or any seedy part of this great city, it's always something that's negative, something that's tragic that happened or something uh, that is continually bringing down the community. And it's just so nice to see something that's so positive and so uh, has so much uh, to say uh, about what we can do as a human race, that we can become renegades, but renegade gardeners. And we could, you know, um, be plant gangsters or something. I liked what Ron Finley said a few times at the Q&A. I think you mentioned that, you know, we should be these fruit gangsters or, you know, these plant, whatever. He had he had some good ways to say it. I'm not going to repeat it now. I, I probably forgot it. But I really enjoyed this film. Uh, I thought it had a really great message. Uh, it was shot well. It looks good. All the colors of the rainbow are there. And I really enjoyed some of the stories. You know, of course, we get to know Ron Finley, but I actually enjoyed some of these other subjects, including a guy who spent 30 years of his life in prison for murder, and now he is trying to, through planting and 
and gardening, he's trying to better his life and 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 really do something important um, and and try and change things in the, in his in his own situation. And then we get to know this little girl. I can't remember what her name was. But she loves her dad, she loves her mom, she loves her sisters, and she's got some of the best lines in the entire film. Can't remember what her name was. It was a very unique name. Uh, I'd never heard of it before and uh, just loved her. I, I wish she was there at the q and It would have been nice to just meet her and say hello. Uh, I hope that she has a bright future. This movie shows that all these people are using this positivity to fur further their futures and further their future of their community and hopefully uh, m something, maybe a miracle can happen because of this and Ron Fernley, Finley I should say, Ron Finley is on a mission to change the world. One plant, fruit, vegetable, gardening at a time and I wish him all the best. In the comment box below, has anybody seen this film at the LA Film Festival? Have you heard of this movie? Can you dig this? I'd be interested to start a dialogue and have you used this method? Does making your own garden and planting things, has that brightened your life up just a little bit more? Really like to know. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. In the next few days or so, I'll be back at the film festival reviewing more stuff. So look forward to more videos coming from me, Movie Man Chad, and We Live Film at the Los Angeles Film Festival 2015. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day. Live film. Find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.